This is Chris Kyle. I'm at Clusterfest at Patty's Pub. I'm about to ask a couple people some hypothetical questions. They're going to tell me what they would have did, and I'm going to tell them what I would have did. This is what I would have did. Oh, thank you. A woman shits on the floor of a Tim Hortons, throws it at an employee. That's the topic. Oh, yeah. You remember this? I yeah. saw the video. I did, too. What would you have done if you were next in line? Oh, I can't eat that. It's like Caddyshack when they found a turd in the pool <laughs> and they had to drain the whole pool. <laughs> but if I was a Cheesecake Factory, I'd at least got it to go. I'd be like, I can't stay here and eat this. The Cheesecake Factory is delicious enough that I would have just gone, like, man, box mine up. Listen, if I was next in line, what I would have did was I would have seen them throw it and I would have said, look, everything I want is on the other side. What I need you to do <laughs> is grab me yeah. stuff from over in the other yeah. register. Because if I'm at a Tim Hortons, I'm really hungry. You don't walk into a Tim Hortons unless you were, you on your last leg. I think the important <laughs> lesson we learned is that if you throw a turd, you win the argument. You never lose with that. Futurama. Yes. Show Michael J. Fry or whatever his name, Philip J. Fry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's our, we all know what the show is really about here. It's okay. the, uh, the Space Simpsons. <laughs> yes. Uh, Philip J. Fry. You got frozen in, in, in a cryogenic thing. If you were frozen cryogenically, when you woke up, what cosmetic surgery would you get? Wow. Well, I'd go bigger dong out of the gate. Can I do that? Oh, yeah. You, can, right. get, you can get that elongated. They're doing that. I'm going to tell you what I would have did. Um, cosmetic surgery, I wake up. Just turn white. I might actually get darker. <laughs> I'm going to just go with that. I want to be true, true black. Jesus. True black, like 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 for real black. You don't like that. black. I want like lights off, like really not there. Like just eyeballs and teeth. What cosmetic surgery would you get after you wake up? Well, I'll get some more height. Oh, you gonna get elongated? Yeah. What's the first thing you gonna do with your new height? I'll probably try to dunk on somebody. So you just gonna cut straight to Duncan? Yeah. You, that's a good that's a good answer. All right, what I would do, I, I don't wanna lose my fat because I think it adds a, a certain jovialness to me. So I would just try to small, like try to condense my body in. I wanna be like You wanna be you wanna be compressed. Right now I'm fat, I wanna get chubby. <laughs> if that is being like I don't wanna get small, I wanna just get chubby. This one is about Dr. Katz, professional therapist. It's an old comedy central show. This show was was animated and a thing called squiggle vision. Everything just looks squiggly and the lines are squiggly. What would you do mm -hmm. if you woke up squiggly? Oh man, uh, I'd become a professional dancer, I think. Ooh. I'd lean into the squiggle, you know? <laughs> I want to look good, I want to be rich, I want to squiggle you at get the that squiggle top. money. I, exactly, I want to get the squiggle that money. Squiggly money. Yeah, yeah. Okay, basically what I would have did was, uh, I'm gonna get a wife, and I'm right. gonna give, give her that squiggly dick. Folks. That's what that's really what it's about. That's my name's Chris Cotter, that's what I would have did. <laughs> <laughs>